Welcome to our final video of July and the open month. Now, this is just a reminder before we tell you exactly how you can play deep bunker shots just like this, and we're going to show Nat's result in this video live. So uh, stick around for that. <laughs> this yeah, is good or bad. <laughs> well, we'll see. <laughs> Hopefully, good after my tuition. Um, this is a reminder that we have an unbelievable giveaway. This is your last chance to enter. Now, simply, we're offering you a chance of partnering with Motram Hall to give you a chance of playing here with three friends using two buggies. That's the full experience. Really nice and simple. To enter this giveaway, make sure you subscribe to the channel and turn on the bell. Yep, and then make sure you comment underneath as well as to do you think this was the correct winner of the Open this year and was it who you wanted to win? And finally, head over to our website, offscratchgolf.com, after watching this video and subscribe to our newsletter. That's really important. Not only will you get entered into the giveaway, but you'll also keep up to date with everything that we have on offer at Off Scratch. And finally, don't forget, every time you share this across social media, it is an extra entry. So Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, whatever you share it, each time you do it, it's an extra entry. So make sure you do that. Okay, Nat, come on, let's talk about this. Right. First things first, what club would you use in the bunker? So I think I'm drawn to use 58 a lot of the time. Is that time. your highest lofted club? Yeah. Okay. Um, which sometimes I don't think works very well for me because I don't get the distance. Mm -hmm. I think, Just oh, that popped out quite nice, but it's up. 20 foot short. Okay. So I would always say, like, especially, especially deep bunkers, think of the road hole bunker. <laughs> this is our <laughs> yeah. version here at Motion Hall. <laughs> um, I would always want you to use your most lofted club. I think once you get the technique right, you don't have to worry about the distance. The distance will come. Obviously, on a long bunker shot, then you might want to use something like a 50, a 54, maybe even like a 9-9 or pitching wedge. But in this scenario, let's go most lofted club. Okay. Right. I want you to follow this routine. I'm going to talk Nat through this. And as you're watching this, maybe if you're at the golf range or you're on the course and you're thinking, right, I need some help, just follow along with what I'm going to say to Nat. Okay. Now, hold that club up for me nice and square. Don't put your grip on. So I want you to hold that club up, and you can see here, this toe of the club is sort of at 12 o'clock, and this is 12 here. Okay. No, no grip right now. I want you to open it to 12.05, and then put your grip on. Right, so your grip's normal to you, uh -huh. your face is open. Okay. A lot of people make the mistake of getting normal grip and then just rolling the hands this way. And by the time you've gone down to the ball, everything feels a little bit awkward. Okay. So, do that again for me. Hold the club up, nice and square, open it to 12.05, then left hand goes on, and then right hand goes on too. Okay, come and address this ball for me. Now, this is really important. Now, right now, you look at that face. Where's it aiming? It's aiming miles right. <laughs> okay. That feels like it's going in the trees. Yeah, okay. So, now I want you to get shuffle a little bit further away from the ball. Okay, dig those feet into the stand. And as you're doing this, Nat's already got this perfect ball position. It's a club head inside your left heel. Now, you feel like you're reaching for this ball, don't you? Yeah, miles away. Okay, you're gonna sit down into the shot. Right, okay. And you're gonna get the hands a little bit further away. Get shuffle a little close, you've got a little too far away. But sit down into the shot. The key thing here is you want to have the room to sit down. Okay. Now, the lower you put your hands, where does the loft now start to point? Slightly further left. Yeah, back towards target, right? Okay. Right. So that's how you get a square face with it being open, in the sense of what we call it is face plane tilt. You get an angle between where your, your club and loft is and the lie angle, which helps get it back to target. Okay. Okay. Right, now put your weight on your left side. I like to feel 70-30. Perfect. So now we look like in a really aggressive position to hit a bunker shot. So the old bunker shot method was like, sort of like, what, slash across it would probably be in top. Yeah, almost like you're trying to slice it, cutting right across it. You don't have to do that now. Okay. Using this method, you can feel like you make, in quotes, a normal, not sliced across it swing, and use this release pattern to get the distance. Okay. So we're just the getting the body in the right place and letting the swing do its own thing. Exactly. Okay. Okay, so the only variation the swing is that, make that swing for me, normal backswing, as if you just would normally. So if I'm set up here. Yeah, make that normal backswing, just pause. So straight away, Nat's club face is really open at the top of the backswing because of what you've done at address. The only difference is, a normal release pattern, you might release like that. Yep. Let's say, a little bit of that. Well, you, we know you do a lot of that. <laughs> what are you trying to say? <laughs> swing to the top and stop for me again. I want you now to feel like you release it this way. Okay. So that loft now, we'll put, show you some player cam here, that's pointing back at you, isn't it? Yes, okay. perfectly. It's not rolled over. Yeah. It's pointing back at you. Okay. So that's when you're releasing speed under the ball. Okay. Now, the concept that I have is if I'm, every time I practice, I just make a little imprint, a ball before is where I want to focus when I'm hitting the sand. Okay. How do you feel about this shot? How does it feel? Set I'm up. nervous. What do you think of the setup, though? What do you feel about it? It feels strong. It just, it feels slightly further away from maybe where I would normally Good. be. Good. But I think that's 
that's probably a good thing because I tend to be on top of it and yeah. then I duff it or I and thin it. When you get close to it and sit on top of it, it's very, very hard to... What we want to be is steep relative to the sand but shallow relative to the ball because that's going to give us the height. Okay. So you want to be hitting down into the sand but as we're sort of cushioning underneath it, we want to be sort of shallow. That gives us the height. Okay, and then, now. <clears throat> what about in terms of a practice swing, Alex? So if I'm set up here... Yeah. Am I looking to strike roughly where this dimple is? So it's like exactly popping that. it out like that. Now, just to remind people, if you're new to golf, you can't actually make a practice swing in the bunker. But if you're yeah. practicing, um, loads of people will, will point us out. No, don't, <laughs> don't take a practice swing in the sand. But yeah, what I'd do is I would draw a line down here. Okay. And what I'd practice is then draw a line down behind, roughly a golf ball behind, and practice it in the back line and taking the front line. Back line, taking the front line. Okay. Right. And a few practice swings. Let's give this a go. And I'm going to go up there and I'm going to show where you hit this tip. <laughs> Can't even so, get away with it with a ball So keep the weight left, practice that release. Good, keep doing that for me. I'll show people this release from here. Let's get this on camera here. So Nat's just going to show us that release again. Good, show us that release again. So here. Fab, perfect. Perfect. Show us what you do as a normal one. So my, my normal swing, I would be a lot more... Yeah. Like this. Okay, so you can see the real Probably difference in that. Like that. Okay, now, this is what you've got involved here. This is the shot that I can see. This is the shot that you guys can see. Just talk me through that setup again, Nat. So okay. get your grip and club face first. So slightly down the grip. <clears throat> if I'm starting here, 12 o'clock, I'm turning to 12.05. But yeah, do it without and the hands on. I'll start again. Nat fell into the simple area. <laughs> right hand, 12 o'clock, 12.05. And then I'm going to place my left hand on the club as well. So I've still got the same club face here. Yep. Coming into the ball. So digging my feet in, 70 30 to the left, and sitting slightly down into it. Fab. Hands go low. Hands go low, and that keeps the face on line with, the, with where I'm hitting. And then I'm just going to do my best. Right, Fab, stay there. Let's go and show you from there. Go. Yeah, good shot from there. Real good shot. So, guys, a simple technique there, Nat. We can confirm, Alex, your coaching does work. I've measured it out. It's 11 feet. That's a tough bunker shot, that. Really like, tough bunker shot. It's not only deep, but you've got to carry a long way. Yeah. And, you know, if you don't get the strike and you're leaving yourself here on the fringe, you've then got a difficult chip to get up and yeah, down again. There's, there's only 10 feet of grass here. Yeah. It? So, guys, thanks so much for joining us for this week's YouTube video. Don't forget... We've still got a few days left of July. That means you've still got a chance to one enter the giveaway, but also buy any of our plans at $29.99. That's our Eliminate Early Extension, Ultimate Irons, Bring Back Your Speed, Stop Your Slice. Loads of stuff on there. I think Bring Back Your Speed seems to be the most popular one so far. Um, but Eliminate Early Extension is my personal favourite. Yeah, I mean, it, it, it's a real killer for speed for a lot of people, control and strike. Definitely, definitely recommend that one. Guys, thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and good luck on the giveaway. Just a note we don't like to have to say, but just watch out for any scammers. We'll never contact you via Telegram. We'll never ask you for any bank details. All this giveaway will be done. We'll be contacted by either me or Nat or the team at Off Scratch. So don't get anything from anybody else that isn't from this verified YouTube account.